unexpected Halloween treat for Pokemaniacs. Listen up, Tomo Sapiens. It's Halloween, and you know what that means. Gen 3 Pokemon. Wait, what? For those of you not in the Pokemon know, the mobile monster catching game Pokemon Go is still a thing, and at Halloween, it's getting a spooky update. You may remember the game from last summer when it spawned hordes of smartphone zombies. And with this new update, it looks set to do the same again, only this time at Halloween. And what does said update contain? Reportedly, more Pokemon than you can throw a Pokeball at. And that means more Pokemon Go mishaps, but with a Halloween twist. Such as mistaking that friendly looking clown down the drain for a Mr. Mime or blindly trick-or-treating your way all the way to Slenderman's house. But hey, anything for a legendary, right? We'll need to write you an apology for this poke pun. Gator strolls onto South Carolina golf course. This is Fripp Island Golf and Beach Resort in South Carolina, USA. Last week, it got a surprising guest in the form of a 12-foot-long alligator Mississippi Piensis, better known as the American Alligator. He apparently goes by Big Al, so we're calling him that as well. According to a Facebook post by the Fripp Island Activity Center, Al sauntered onto the golf course last Tuesday evening. He was apparently less concerned about the nearby deer and people, and more focused on getting to another pond. This footage was shot by the island's naturalist, Jessica Miller. The resort says she was accompanied by a security team and was 30 feet away while shooting it. A closer look at the Facebook comments reveals that this isn't the first time said gator's been spotted. User Charles Heyman claims to have spotted the big feller two weeks ago on the same fairway. Al's apparently lived around the resort peacefully for years, so we reckon he's probably got one hell of a swing. The Fripp Island Activity Center says if you ever see a gator traveling out of water, stay back and let him continue his journey. Wise words indeed. Lion Whisperer convinces his lioness to take the leap of faith. If you're one of those who believes they can talk to animals, Kevin Richardson has something to show you. Teaming up with GoPro, the Lion Whisperer released footage this month of him convincing one of his rescued lionesses, Meg, to leap into his arms in the water. The video has already racked up more than half a million views. Richardson says the lionesses, Meg and her sister Amy, were rejected by their mother, who dropped them in a water dish. Richardson rescued them and raised them. The famous animal lover believes had he not saved them, they'd have surely been shot for trophy at one of South Africa's canned hunting ranches. Richardson claims he shares an unspoken language with his adopted soulmate, and shares a trust he can see in their eyes. In the video shot at his sanctuary near Pretoria, he put their relationship on display by hopping into the water and telling Lioness Meg to leap in with him, promising to catch her. Given the way Meg's mother left her for dead, he might think she'd be hesitant. But the trust she has for Richardson put any fears to rest, as she jumped toward him, making a big splash and enjoying a swim with her protector. It's an adorable sight to behold, but Richardson would probably be the first to say, don't try this at home, for several reasons. Ancient worm monster found in the Philippines. Scientists have known about the giant shipworm for centuries, but none have seen a living, breathing specimen until now. Giant shipworms aren't actually worms, but bivalves, like clams and mussels. They live in three foot long tubular shells, planted in muddy, shallow bays. This unicorn of the mollusk world was recently discovered hanging out in the southern part of the Philippines. A local TV segment about the creatures tipped off a team from Northeastern University. They went to a lagoon in Mindanao's Sultan Kundara province and managed to collect five live worms. Back in the lab, researchers cut off one end of the shell and took out the slimy black baseball-sized mass of flesh. Unlike the common shipworm, which feeds on rotting wood, its giant cousin has bacteria in its gills that churn out nutrients from carbon dioxide. It still has digestive organs despite its unique mode of survival, but they're tiny from lack of use. It's not clear how many of the weird-looking creatures are left in the wild, so the team is keeping the exact location of the shipworm home a secret. Locals, though, have been harvesting the giant worms for years, eating it as an aphrodisiac, medicine, and just a tasty side dish. Dinos Down Under 
Back when dinosaurs roamed the Earth, a whole lot of them apparently did their roaming all over Western Australia's Dambier Peninsula. With over 21 different dino tracks found along the 25-kilometer coastline, the area has been dubbed Australia's Jurassic Park. For five years, a team of paleontologists studied thousands of prints, mapping the tracks with the help of drones and planes. Their most spectacular find is one that measures 5 feet 9 inches, roughly the height of your average American male. It's the largest dinosaur print ever recorded, topping the 3 foot 9 inch one found in Bolivia last July. The massive footprint had once belonged to a sauropod, a herbivorous long-necked dinosaur, which would have been 17 feet high at the hips. Record-breaking print aside, the team also found tracks, confirming that the spiky-tailed stegosaurus once called the land down under home as well.